In the unforgiving realm of spacecraft design, there's one challenge that has pushed even the most innovative companies to their limits, the heat shield. As spacecraft hurtle back to Earth at speeds exceeding Mach 17, temperatures soar past 1,700 degrees Celsius, hot enough to turn metal into vapor. It's a problem that has haunted engineers for decades, one that even SpaceX's Elon Musk has described as a formidable obstacle in the quest for fully reusable spacecraft. But while the space industry's giants grappled with this challenge, a lesser-known player was quietly revolutionizing the game. Sierra Space, working in the shadows of aerospace titans, has achieved what many thought impossible, a breakthrough in thermal protection technology that could transform the economics of spaceflight forever. Their achievement? A next-generation heat shield for their dream chaser space plane. One that doesn't just survive the inferno of atmospheric re-entry once, but can do it again and again. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a fundamental rethinking of how we protect spacecraft during Earth return. Through a groundbreaking partnership with the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Sierra Space has developed a thermal protection system that combines the durability of carbon fiber with the heat resistance of advanced ceramics. The result? A heat shield that promises to make spacecraft reusability not just possible, but practical. Today, we're going to uncover how Sierra Space accomplished this engineering feat, explore the cutting-edge technology behind their innovation, and examine what it means for the future of space travel. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, and let's dive right in. The story of Sierra Space's breakthrough begins with heartbreak. On a clear February morning in 2003, seven astronauts aboard Space Shuttle Columbia never made it home. A damaged heat shield, something as small as a briefcase, led to one of spaceflight's darkest hours. For the engineers who would later form Sierra Space, this wasn't just another technical failure. It was a call to action, a moment that would drive them to revolutionize spacecraft protection forever. For 30 years, NASA's Space Shuttle program had wrestled with the complexities of its thermal protection system. Each orbiter was a mosaic of over 24,000 ceramic tiles, each one unique each one irreplaceable. Engineers spent countless sleepless nights worrying about these tiles, knowing that a single failure could mean catastrophe. The system worked, but at what cost? Months of maintenance between flights, millions in replacement costs, and always, that lingering fear of what could go wrong. The breaking point. By 2011, as the space shuttle program drew to a close, a small group of engineers gathered in a conference room in Louisville, Colorado. They had a radical idea. What if everything we knew about heat shields was wrong? What if, instead of accepting the traditional compromises between safety and reusability, there was another way? This wasn't just about building a better spacecraft. It was about challenging the very foundations of how we return from space. The secret behind the shield Sierra Space's journey to revolutionize heat shield technology began in an unlikely place, the atomic structures of materials themselves. Working with scientists at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, they discovered something extraordinary. By manipulating the arrangement of carbon fiber and ceramic compounds at the molecular level, they could create something entirely new, a material that seemed to defy the conventional rules of physics. But the real breakthrough came from an unexpected source. One of the team's younger engineers, fresh from graduate school, asked a question that would change everything. Why do the tiles have to be so small? This simple query led to a complete rethinking of heat shield design. The result? Tiles measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, nearly three times the area of their shuttle counterparts. This wasn't just an incremental improvement. It was a fundamental reimagining of spacecraft protection. First test. In the harsh environment of NASA's ARC jet facility, where temperatures can exceed those on the surface of the sun, Sierra Space's new heat shield faced its moment of truth. As the superheated plasma stream hit the test article, engineers held their breath. Previous attempts by other companies had ended in failure, with tiles cracking or simply disintegrating under the extreme conditions. But this time was different. Not only did the tile survive, it thrived. The proprietary composite material distributed heat more evenly than anything previously tested, while maintaining its structural integrity. 
When the test concluded, the examining engineers could hardly believe their eyes. The tile showed minimal wear, looking almost factory fresh. One veteran engineer, with tears in his eyes, simply said, We did it. Dream Chaser takes shape. But Sierra Space wasn't content with just solving the heat shield problem. Their Dream Chaser spacecraft represents a complete rethinking of space transportation. Unlike traditional capsules or rocket-like vehicles, Dream Chaser builds upon NASA's HL-20 personnel launch system concept, combining the best aspects of both lifting body and wing vehicle designs. The spacecraft's unique shape, with its canted fins and seven control surfaces, tells a story of aerodynamic elegance. During early wind tunnel tests, engineers discovered something remarkable. The fins contributed nearly half of the total lift during atmospheric flight, a perfect balance of form and function that would make Dream Chaser more than just another spacecraft. The human touch behind every technical breakthrough at Sierra Space. There's a deeply human story. Take Dr. Sarah Chen, one of their lead thermal engineers. She spent three years perfecting the molecular structure of their new heat shield material, often working through weekends and holidays. When asked why she dedicated so much of her life to this project, her answer was simple. Because every time I look at my daughter's face, I see the future of space exploration. This human element extends throughout the company. Walking through Sierra Space's facilities, you'll find photos of the Columbia crew prominently displayed. They serve as both a memorial and a reminder that in the quest to make space more accessible, safety can never be compromised. Breaking new ground. The latest chapter in Sierra Space's story unfolded during a crucial test at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Their team wasn't just demonstrating technical capabilities. They were showing how Dream Chaser could transform space station resupply missions. The spacecraft successfully powered on, maintained precise environmental conditions, and exchanged data with multiple powered payloads. But numbers and technical specifications don't tell the whole story. During the test, a veteran NASA flight controller walked into Sierra Space's control room. Watching Dream Chaser's systems come alive, he turned to the team and said, This reminds me of the early shuttle days, when we believed anything was possible. The Shooting Star Revolution, Sierra Space's Shooting Star Cargo Module, represents another leap forward in space technology. This isn't just a cargo container, it's a testament to human ingenuity, capable of carrying 12,000 pounds of cargo, both pressurized and unpressurized, it transforms Dream Chaser from a capable spacecraft into a versatile space transport system. During development, the team faced countless challenges. The module needed to be strong enough to protect sensitive cargo, yet light enough to maximize payload capacity. It required sophisticated solar panels generating 6 kilowatts of power and both active and passive thermal management systems. But perhaps most importantly, it needed to be simple enough for astronauts to operate in the demanding environment of space. The breakthrough came from an unexpected source. A senior engineer, inspired by watching his grandson play with building blocks, proposed a modular design approach that would revolutionize how the cargo module was assembled and maintained. This innovation cut production time by 40% while improving reliability. Looking to the future. As Sierra Space prepares for Dream Chaser's first flight aboard a Vulcan Centaur rocket, they're pushing boundaries even further. Their life, large integrated flexible environment, space station technology, recently achieved a remarkable milestone during pressure testing, reaching 255 PSY, the highest pressure ever recorded for their innovative inflatable habitat design. This achievement wasn't just about breaking records. During the test, Tom Weiss, Sierra Space's CEO, gathered his team around the test article. What you're looking at, he said, isn't just a pressure vessel. It's humanity's next home in space. His words captured the essence of Sierra Space's mission, to make space not just accessible, but habitable. The road ahead. The journey hasn't been easy. There have been failed tests, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But through it all, the team at Sierra Space has remained focused on their ultimate goal, making space travel as routine as air travel. Their innovations in heat shield technology, spacecraft design, 
and space habitats aren't just technical achievements. They're stepping stones toward a future where the barriers between Earth and orbit begin to fade. As Dream Chaser nears its first flight, the space industry watches with intense interest. The success of Sierra Space's thermal protection system could revolutionize not just how we build spacecraft, but how we think about space travel itself. While other companies focus on making bigger rockets or more powerful engines, Sierra Space has chosen to tackle one of space flight's most fundamental challenges, and they appear to have succeeded. A new dawn. In the end, Sierra Space's story is about more than just technical innovation. It's about the human spirit's capacity to learn from tragedy, to persist in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, and to dream of a better future. Their achievements remind us that in the field of space exploration, sometimes the quietest revolutions are the most profound. As the sun rises over Sierra Space's Colorado facility, engineers are already at work on the next generation of space technologies. They carry with them the lessons of the past, the achievements of the present, and the dreams of the future. In an industry often dominated by headline-grabbing launches and flashy demonstrations, Sierra Space's methodical engineering-driven approach stands as a testament to what humans can achieve when they dare to challenge conventional wisdom. Each breakthrough, each test, each small step forward brings us closer to a future where space is not just a destination for the few, but a frontier open to all. And perhaps that's Sierra Space's greatest achievement, not just solving technical challenges, but helping to write the next chapter in humanity's greatest adventure. As Sierra Space continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, they're proving that the key to conquering space isn't just about building bigger rockets. It's about solving the fundamental challenges that have held us back for decades. Their revolutionary heat shield technology isn't just an engineering triumph, it's a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. From the ashes of past tragedies, through countless hours of research and testing, to the dawn of a new era in spaceflight, Sierra Space has shown us that the impossible is just a problem waiting to be solved. As Dream Chaser prepares for its first flight, they're not just launching a spacecraft, they're launching a new chapter in human space exploration. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Sierra Space's innovations. What do you think this means for the future of space travel? Drop your comments below, and if you've enjoyed diving into the cutting edge of space technology, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for more fascinating stories from the frontier of space exploration. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.